Lake Travis is looking pretty low these days. So low, in fact, that the LCRA had to shut down eight boat ramps that weren't touching water anymore. Not good, considering Memorial Day weekend begins on Friday. KXAN's Rhonda Lee is live at Mansfield Dam with more for us. Rhonda? That's right. I mean, it's already crowded on Memorial Day weekend as it is, or any holiday here at Lake Travis. But when you only have two usable docks, or ramps rather, like the ones that you see there, people are getting ready to get into the water, it's going to become much more crowded, much more quickly this weekend. James Willis is getting his fishing in early this week. Absolutely. Fishing's always good out here. He's finishing before the holiday crowds fill the lake. He's noticed the drop in Lake Travis's water level in just the past week. Well, most of the ramps around the lake are closed. Uh, this one here is one of the deepest ones, and it's usually open till it's just almost nothing in there. And according to the latest reading from the LCRA, it seems like there's almost nothing in there. Lake Travis is down some 20 feet below normal. All of Travis County's public boat ramps will stay closed until the water levels rise to safe usage levels again. The only two that are open for use are at Mansfield Dam and Sandy Creek, since the water is deeper at those particular spots. When you launch a boat and even when you're swimming or diving into the lake, you need to see where you're launching to make sure your trailer doesn't disappear into some hole that you didn't know was there. As we look out upon the water here, you can actually see how the sometime islands have kind of made an appearance. Now, normally this time of year, if the water levels are okay, these islands, you can't even see them because they're fully underwater. I think you should stay well off the shoreline and also uh, pay attention to the buoy system on the lake. Boaters need to know exactly where they are in case they need to be rescued. Oh, and for Pete's sake, boat sober. It is very important. So many of our accidents, whether they be boat related or swim related, are um, partly due to the use of alcohol. The last thing you need is to spend part of your holiday drying out in the tank. All right, and uh, one thing that our, both our boater and our ranger said was that it's very important that you maybe want to invest in a, a depth finder as well. That way you can see the shallow portions of the lake coming up as well as the deeper portions as well. So you're not going to get caught in any kind of surprises or anything like that. Now, I'll tell you one thing. It is very warm out here today, Jim. By all means, you need to make sure you have your sunscreen when you're out and about. But what I'm hoping is that maybe we're going to see a little bit of rain to help these lakes out. Well, there is some rain in the forecast, but it uh, looks like these thunderstorms, like most of them we've seen this spring, will be scattered. Some heavy rain here or there, not really enough to generate the kind of runoff that would bring those lake levels up enough to cover the islands or reopen those boat ramps. Thank you, Ron.